Mario Shalanza, Sergeant, Crew Chief on the P-40 in Hawaii, Willowfield. On December 7, 1941, I was at Willowfield, Hawaii. I just came from the mess hall. I was dressed in civilian clothes, and I was on my way to Mass at the uh, a church between Schofield Barracks and Willowfield. Well, that morning, I got up about 7 o'clock and went to have my breakfast. I was planning on going to Honolulu for the day. As I was walking to church, I was on the, the main street heading to Schofield Barracks because that's where the church was. And uh, I was under a, 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 a grove of coconut trees, coconut palm trees, when I heard a loud explosion coming from the direction of Pearl Harbor, to my, which was directly over the mountain, directly ahead of me. And I thought that the Navy was having some kind of maneuvers until I saw the uh, Japanese aircraft flying overhead, uh, dropping bombs on our runway, our hangars, and our tents. As the Japanese were strafing and bombing, I went down toward the, the hangars and the, where our sleeping quarters were in these hospital tents. And I reported to my commanding officer. And I asked him, what should I do? Even though I was in civilian clothes, he told me to get together with another GI, get him a stretcher, pick up the wounded, get him in a safe place so they could be transported to the hospital. In the subsequent time, we picked up about three badly wounded uh, squadron mates and got them off to the side of the runway. And then shortly after that, the ambulances came down, picked them up and took them to the hospital. I saw airplanes burning in clusters. And I saw airplanes that had been bombed and blown up and they were just like a pile of junk. And I saw our, our uh, squadron mates running around trying to save airplanes that were not on fire, pushing them out of the way. And there was complete chaos. Soldiers running all over the place, uh, wounded soldiers laying on the ground. What we did after the fires were out, we went around the base and we looked at every airplane to see how badly damaged they were. And then we looked at the wreck planes and seen if we could take parts over those planes to repair, to repair the slightly damaged planes. For instance, like an elevator or a rudder or a wing or whatever. And our hangars were all bombed out. So what we did was we had, uh, we, we got the, uh, the partially damaged planes that close to the damaged planes and we started dismantling the damaged planes and we were repairing the slightly damaged planes. And we did that for about 36 hours straight. And about the end of that time, in our squadron alone, we probably assembled about five or six airplanes. When I went back into my tent, our tent was in tatters. I pulled my suitcase from under the bed. I didn't notice it at first until I got all my clothes and personal property. A little piece of shrapnel sticking out of the suitcase. And I took it out and noticed it was a bomb fragment. It took about two weeks until I was able to get a uh, telegram off to my girlfriend, who was, who was my wife. I sent her a, a telegram, and I think the price was around $3.50, and 
and I still have the telegram, and it says, I am okay. That's all I wrote on it. And she, she we still have the telegram.